All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harachat Hodash. Double honor to our apostles and the elder bishops of the great millstone who teach God and rule well. And greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you. Hopefully, I like that there. Shalom unto you. All right, you brush quad here. Just want to uh, tap into this uh, this this uh, article here, and this is off the uh, the heels of um, the uh, passport brothers, you know, uh, situation where women are starting to to lose it and be frustrated and and and, and complain and and ridiculed and demean men for going outside of America to choose their uh, life partners out. I'll, I'll just simply say it that way. To choose traditional women, to choose a women that haven't been uh, tainted by Babylon the Great. And, and you know, when you go into the word Babylon, uh, root, the, the root word is Babal, which the Hebrew word Babal means confusion, okay? And if you look at a lot of these women today that that are born and raised here in America, you know, after feminism and single parent households and drug and and, and hip hop and black culture and and, and, and all these different uh, things, TV and, and, and you know, the, the miseducation and all these other things that go on. Uh, and I hope I said feminism. If not, it de deserves a second uh, uh, mentioning. Uh, after all of this, man, you, you see what's going on then. And then this thing with the the internet, man, and social media, where they rape women, and everybody can just throw likes, 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 and women get charged up off of these likes. Okay, this has completely ruined you, women, and and now this is the result of it. But this is what you wanted. Okay, this is what you wanted going back to 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 the garden with uh, the serpent and Eve. Okay, and that wasn't even gonna be in this video, but it has to be uh, shown, so I, I will go into it. And now, what do we have here? Single women are shopping for husband material at Home Depot. And so I clicked on this. You know, I went and did a little research, and it's, it's nothing worth uh, clicking into. Women are getting dolled up and going into into uh, Home Depot. I, I'm not even going to read the article. It is a, a, a not a super long read, but it was a video where a woman said, uh, I'm going to get... You know, getting dolled up to uh, go look confused in the in the tools area. It look me trying to act like I need help, not me trying to act like I need help. You know, and and it's funny because you know men can spot you a mile away, but men also spot you a mile away. You women don't understand. Home Depot is not where a woman in heels and skirts. And, you know, makeup is really it. Not the type of woman that these men are. And most men that are in the house like that, excuse me, I mean in in, um, in Home Depot like that, have a woman at home. And she's not, you know, a, a supermodel status type woman or woman that's trying to be like that. She's a regular woman, you know, may, maybe even around the six or lower range. And, and what does that do? That keeps her humble. That keeps him humble. And in most women, you don't realize you can be dolled up. Any woman can be dolled up and be attractive to, to men. A man doesn't like that. A man knows that he's connected to a woman and she's truly uh, with him. But that's another something. I'm not on here to talk about that. What I am on here to talk about is how you women have created this situation and now you gotta you got to deal with it. Okay? And in the times that we're coming into, more importantly, you're going to wish you humbled down a lot sooner to uh to to these men, all right. So let's uh let's get some scriptures because you know you can read through this, okay. And this is you know content creators and the late dating uh, dating apps in 2023. Uh, uh, in a clip, she advised that uh, over 24,000 views. It says I'm headed to Home Depot to look confused in the lumber aisle, okay. And you see this in any. Uh, shopping store that you know sometimes you a woman will see you and then they'll have all these random questions but women like uh, I've seen a, a clip on one of these um, red pill men sites saying that women have no game they just think they just gotta look pretty 
and stick their chest out or arch their, their back or what, whatever the hell they do, you know, walking with some, some makeup on, and, and that's enough. Men, men want to know what your skill range is nowadays. Okay, can you cook? Can you sew? Can you clean? Can you uh, rear children? Like all these things become more important in, in, in more serious times. Okay, men aren't worried about you know because the way the economy is, men ain't trying to go spend all this money out on the town. And then you women can cl- com- complain. Oh, well, that's you broke men. Oh, great, great. But we're looking at women complaining because men that have money are going out of the the country. To go get men okay and one of the main women that that did that she had her own uh only fans uh page okay so it's, it's contradictory and we see these things and, and and we're choosing not to deal with you and and i wish i could find it i can't find it I, I, i've looked but when i first came into the truth I heard the apostles, particularly it was Apostle Tahar, and I think a couple of other apostles on another on other occasions said the same thing. He said, we don't need, first he said, the black woman. One of them said the black woman to, to bring back the kingdom of heaven. But then another said, we don't need the Israelite woman to bring back the kingdom of heaven. It wasn't to down our women. It was just simply to humble our women and get them to understand while making the point of edifying the men about the man carries the seed. And so we're tracking lineage by the seed, not by the woman. Okay? That was the, the point of the video, tracking the lineage by the seed, okay, of men, which you go into that Greek word seed uh, that they were using at the time in the sperma. All right? But that's, a, like I said, another tale for another day. But that was the point. But that was profound when I heard it. Okay? It was a profound thing. Because, you know, Jake, went, oh, I got to get me a black woman. I got to get me this kind of woman. And what? Yeah, that doesn't matter, man. That doesn't matter. What matters is the spirit that's in the man. Okay, so anyway, going into that spirit that was, uh, was in the man, a righteous man, okay, is, is now going to be the most important type of man on the planet in the, in the near future. When all shit collapses and hits the fan, that's the type of man you're going to want to have around you or, or, or be connected with. All right? So let me get some scripts because, you know, I can go through this and, and, and rant on and, and, you know, ramble on and all of this. Okay, look, this is funny. Yeah, this was the one she was putting on. Yep. This is a real video. Decent looking woman, but this is not how you get a man in 2023. Men are tired of you women thinking pretty's enough. Okay, we're just tired of it. What other skills do you have? All right, so let's get some scripts. So because I mentioned it, I'll breeze, Lord, you know, through this, Lord, wouldn't it's edifying. And this is for you men, really, okay? This is for you men. This video, sisters can learn from this, and, you know, women waking up and, and realizing the situation is one thing, but really for the men to understand, okay, uh, of, of, of what you, of what's going on in the world and and, and how to deal, Okay. Um, a lot of random women are going to be trying to flock to you and you got to be able to discern the ones that are worth value of risking your life for and the ones that are not. All right. But anyway, so this is here. Um, I'll start up at, we should all know this story, but I'll start up at uh, uh, verse um that verse one, you got to read it. So it says, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast in the field. This serpent is the spirit of a man, is the spirit of a serpent, but it's actually, actually a man. Okay. It says more subtle than any beast in the field, which the Lord power, Yahweh had made. And he said unto the woman, yea, have God said, ye shall not eat of every tree in the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Okay, and now this is key because it shows you the nature of a woman. Okay, she understood the instruction that Adam gave her. Okay, he didn't get particular with it, but he gave her the instruction. Much like a lot of women today, you'll give a woman instruction and she'll ask why. Or you'll give her an instruction, you know, and, and she'll still rebel against um your orders or you know your your direction okay 
by anything that makes her feel or makes her question or any of that, you know. You, so when choosing men, this is these are traits that we, we pick up. And women, for you, more importantly, these are traits that you got to adjust and, and correct. Okay, because I'm telling you, when shit hits the fan, why ain't going to be a, a, a anything a man of the Lord wants to hear? And, 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 and believe me, in the times that we're living in, women will be in, at an abundance and, and there will be, and I'm going to get those scriptures, and there will be no time for that, that back talk, man. Okay? Well, you think you, there ain't going to be all of that. And head weaving, and there ain't going to be none of that. Neck going all to the, ain't going to be none of that in that day. Okay? We ain't dealing with that. Okay? It says, um, but the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, uh, which she didn't know what type of tree it was, but just knowing she wasn't supposed to touch it, God said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto, unto the woman, which is a bold-faced lie, Ye shall not surely die. Okay? For God know that in the day ye eat thereof, this is where the lie gets deep. And he puts the truth in there as well. Eat thereof, your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Because he understood what kind of tree it was. Okay, and the woman, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, she, I mean, she ate it, and it was pleasant to the eyes, and to, and a tree to be desired to make one wise. Now, as she contemplated about this, she thought about, yeah, I could one day uh, tell men what to do. I can control things. I can be on the level of a man. She, they start seeing all the things that we are living in today. They saw the the, the problem. Uh, promiscuity culture, the horror culture, culture, the sleeping around and abortion. They seen the whole nine and lack of responsibility. You go into some of these red pill videos. I'm trying not to make this into that, but you go. But this is a topic that's out there that our people got to understand. Now, for you men, this is a topic, but this is a small topic compared to the rest of the scriptures. But it has to be addressed. Okay, when you go into some of these red pill platforms, you'll see how. Um, certain of these hosts of these, these these shows will will use logic to break down the ideologies of women, okay? And there's really no real ideology there. It's just they going upon, upon how they feel. Yeah, I want to be. It should be fifty fifty. I'm bringing this to the table, and an amen can't tell me nothing because I'll take care of my own. This and that. But then you turn around, and women want a man to take care of all the, the financial situation, and a man got to have all this money. You know, and with the financial situations, and she shouldn't have to do this, but she can, and she will, and she won't. And my other kids, and all these—they they got all these list of demands. You know, a, a woman. When you look at, when you start going to these dating apps, and you start looking at the list that women want, they want Superman and Clark Kent. It's it's amazing. They want two things that don't even go together. Okay, but they want it all, and they feel that they should get it all because they get to rate themselves. And what they feel they they are worth, versus the man actually rating you. That's why a lot of women had troubles with Kevin Samuels, okay? Because he he gave it his honest opinion. It was an opinion, but he gave his honest opinion of what he thought women were about. And a lot of times, you women don't realize your physical looks are the first things to go in your life, okay? It's not so men aren't choosing you because they think you're going to be the most beautiful physically looking woman later in life, because that's what we're we're in it for the long game, but. Well, we're, you know, well, most of us are the, the, really trying to do this thing as, as it was intended, earn it for the long game. But you women, you think that your looks are, are where all your value is at after you've been, you know, uh, experienced, to say it nicely, that we're still supposed to value you at the same level or even higher when it don't work that way. Okay? Because what ends up happening is your minds are tainted, just like the serpent here, tainted Eve's mind. Okay? Now that she's been tainted, She's was no real use to Adam, you know, but 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 when when Adam continued with her, what happened? Now this is the general fall of man, right here that that most men go through. Men men fall for this same type of situation. Another man has gotten your woman's ear, has been around and and gotten intimate, if you will, with your woman, and now she's bringing other philosophies back to you, and and and, and leading you astray, when this should never have been that way. Okay, so we're gonna um. Uh, keep reading. It says, "A tree to be desired to make one wise." 
she took the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat talking about adam her actual husband not the serpent it says and the eyes of them both were opened and they knew that they were naked and the they sewed fig leaves uh they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons All right, that's something else now when you jump down um yeah i always like this part too um I'll straight jump straight to um yeah, let me jump to ten. It says, and he said, I heard thy voice as Adam responded to the most high when he called him, which I already knew the situation. He says, I heard thy voice in the garden and I was afraid as Adam responded, because I knew because I was naked and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to to be with me, she gave of gave me of the tree, and I did eat. Went off. Beta. Adam was beta at that moment, right? <laughs> Just jokingly saying it, but for y'all that 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 into that type of thing. He says, And the Lord Yahweh power said unto the woman, what is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. She passed the book as well. Okay, but this is all true how it happened. And the but she she should have cut it off. Whether the serpent the serpent you could say the serpent never should have tempted her, but she should have not never taken the temptation. Okay, and when we look at this dynamic, this plays out all through throughout the world. This this scenario of being tempted away from righteousness happens all throughout the earth even to this day and through the the, the stories and in, in, in the scriptures we, we see that this in the different accounts this stuff has happened time and time again okay it says uh in the uh, uh verse 13 again it says and the lord yahweh said unto the woman what is this that thou hast done and the woman said the serpent beguiled me and i did eat and the lord power yahweh said unto the serpent because thou hast done this Thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and the dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. We're not going to get into that breakdown, but we want to get to verse 16. It says, um, unto the woman, talking about Eve here, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrows thou shalt bring forth children, this is why the, 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 the birthing process is a very painful one at this point. And thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. This was the commandment given. Okay? This is the, the, the commandment slash prophecy given unto Eve. Okay? In the garden. Okay? Um, man. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of the thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, because Adam knew the full scenario of not to eat of that tree, but he got weak for the woman and ate it. Okay? Said that thou shalt not eat of it, cursed is the ground for thy sake, in sorrow thou shalt eat of it all the days of thy life. Okay, and it goes into to more there. But the point has been made. That this created that dynamic, and now we're seeing the fruit of that dynamic. Okay? But has the woman, and you women, now that you have that power uh, of wisdom, you you still feel, you know, of eating the tree of knowledge of good and evil. You have the knowledge of good and evil, excuse me. That doesn't mean that you have wisdom. Okay? That you know how to use the knowledge of good and evil. Okay? And so that's why we see a lot of times for you, for you men, women are the ones that corrupt the, the, the men. And we'll go to first uh Edris. Um first Edris. No, 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 not the first chapter. It's like the I'm gonna go straight to the fourth chapter. Okay. Let me see. Um get to the point here. I'm like twelve, thirteen. Uh, yep, 13. <clears throat> well, Zerubbabel 
when they all gave a wise saying, one said it was wine, one said it was the king, and Zerubbabel said it was uh, the woman that were the strongest, but above all that, it was the truth. Okay, it says, verse 13, Then the third, who had spoke of women and of the truth, this was Zerubbabel, began to speak. O ye men, it is not the great king, nor the multitude of men, neither is it wine that excelleth. Who is it then that ruleth them, or have the lordship over them? Are they not women? Okay. And I don't want to go too deep into that, but I'm going to go into the main point um, because of that connection from the garden is, is what happened there. And this is all, I'm, I'm just trying to get through this so we can understand this dynamic, okay? Uh, verse 22, by this also you must know that women have dominion over you. And starting back in the, in the garden. Do ye not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman? Yea, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal. Many a men are in jail today for trying to trying to make a play for women, you know, trying to do something. I gotta go get this money to, to bring it back to the you know to the wife and kids. I gotta go, I gotta go impress this woman, I gotta go do this. Okay, and bring it to his love. Wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father or mother. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women. And, I, and I'm, I'm no different than most men either. You know, a lot of a lot of us have made many mistakes trying to trying to uh, be in a certain circle with, with a certain woman or do certain things and nearly perished because of it. Yeah, it's going to say, yep, and become servants for their sakes. The water you how about me outside for this truth, man, is truly um, guided me away from that that type of a spirit, man. You, you, you can't be in that type of spirit. You know that that's not um, becoming of, of of a wise man. Okay, so the, the truth breaks it all down for you. It says, "Many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women." Okay, and I won't get any further into that. Um, I'll hit one more in Jeremiah. <clears throat> right, uh, thirty-three, thirty-one. I mean, in uh, twenty-two, I believe it is. Yep, how long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord Yahweh hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. Another one right quick. This is what you women set up back in the garden. This is what you wanted. Okay? This is what you wanted. Let's go to the third chapter. Uh, third, like the 12th verse, I believe it is. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and more insignificant race of people are their oppressors. Speaking of these Edomites particularly, and women rule over them. It's funny how the, the Edomites are connected to the, down the line of the serpent, and the women made that deal, and now they're sharing a kingdom together in this time here. Okay, in the ancient Roman, they didn't they didn't con they didn't share an empire, but in this rebirth of the Roman Empire, they share their kingdom uh, with women. <clears throat> letting them rule over men. So this is your, your feel of it, and you guys are, are failing. That's why you're at Home Depot. That's why you don't see these, the, you see movies like Wonder Woman and women beating up, I'm talking about the old one and, and uh, what's Cleopatra. You see all these, um, 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 what's the name of it? When, uh, uh, dang. Um, pro, uh, pro, um, what's the word I'm trying to think? Well, women have multiple men. It's pro, uh, polyamory. Okay, you don't really see that really working out, even though it's it is happening. Uh, some of the same women are sleeping with multiple men. Okay, you're seeing that more now than ever, but it don't really work out the same. All right, <clears throat> it's not a peaceful union set up that way. It's not how it's supposed to be set up. It says, "Uh, and women rule over them. Oh my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy paths." Okay. And that shows you that. Okay, so we're not supposed to be following them. Because look, now they're at Home Depot shopping for, 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 for husband material. Okay, that's where they're at now. They're, they're walking around these stores looking for manly men. Okay, some of them even go to the gun range. I mean, you got to expound 
how these women are thinking because that mark is going to close up whatever few men that they that you may find in there and that you may fit the character to be in there and you women will do that you will you will play out a character for the rest of your life and adapt because that is your that you're supposed to do <clears throat> to get a, a, a solid man okay and it's getting to the point where all that six-figure man and I'm a bad B and all this other stuff, all that's out the window, man. You can forget about that. These guys that's on, on these platforms on social media and different sites, man, they, they're chopping that that logic down. So you women, uh, Kevin Samuels <laughs> had one of my favorite sayings, if you don't want to conform to a man, get a dog and die alone. Or or, or settle, if you, you know, have, for you to say, settle for an average man. Get a dog and die alone, okay? And this is this is what it's boiling down to, all right? So going back, all right? Now, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 9. I'm going to start at the fourth verse, but so you understand, up above this, this was a commandment given to the angels uh, to go and uh, uh, protect over Israel, uh, the elect of Israel, and also to uh, slaughter the undesirables of Israel. All right. Um, so, yeah, so I have to read for to, to, to get you the full understanding. It says, and the Lord Yahweh said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sign that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And those that are signing crying are men of the Lord. That's the Thawah mark there. Not the mark of the beast, but a Thawah mark. Okay. Men of exemption, if you will, from judgment. All right? And those are the men that are going to be very valuable. Home Depot ain't enough. You women should be going to these street corners, uh, you know, uh, proving that you, you you know, and, and connecting with, with certain men out there, proving that you are humbled and want to be um, protected when that day comes and doing all that you can to please these men. In sincerity, man. Okay? Not running up being like, you can get it whenever you want it. I'll bend it this way and flip it and bust it wide open. Man, nobody want to hear all that. Okay, real men don't, don't, aren't going to care about none of that in that day. You know, but men are going to want to know what type of true life skills do you have. In a survival scenario, are you going to be obedient and follow orders? Or are you going to be on your own tip, ruining the situation as a man is, is guiding himself through? That's why you see movies like... Uh, the book of Eli, he did not want to take that woman on with him. He did not. He tried to get rid of her at every turn he could. Okay? And she, but she understood, if I stick around here, I'm finished. I'm done. And there were men around. But they were men that had the the, the mark uh, on in their foreheads of, the, the, of exemption, that Thawa. Okay? And, he, and Eli rep represented the elect and the men of, that had the Thawa. Okay? Verse 5, and here's where it gets good. And to the others, he said in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite, meaning kill. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. He told him to a deaf angel to go and kill, man. Slay utterly old and young, both maids, which is young, you know, and little children and women. Everybody gets it that don't have that mark. Okay. But come not near any. Upon whom is the mark, and begin in my sanctuary at the children of Israel, starting at the note of truth. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. Okay, you see it? So if you don't have that thought, wow, man, everybody's fair game. All right? So let me jump to this real quick. I didn't even, and I, I didn't jot any of these down. This is, this was a topic that we used to, you know, we used to enjoy just, just going into just putting it out there uh, when I first came in. Uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9, In like manner also the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. And modesty and modest apparel is not what you see in modern women. Okay? It's rare you catch a woman in modest apparel on purpose because she just doesn't want to be out there and, and portrayed to be out there like that. Or they finally get a little older and used up and then now they don't want to you know, be objectified anymore. And I'm great that, that you know, some of you are, have turned it around in life, you know. You know, and, and, and there's a man out there for you, you know, in these times. But uh, understand, 
You have to have the full mind of it, though. The full understanding. I hate to use that word again. But the full mind of what you should be doing for uh, toward a man of the Lord. Okay? And I'm not going to give you all the details and duties. Because women should already know that. And a particular man is particular about what he wants. All right? But it says here uh, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety. Not with broidered hair or gold or pearls or costly array. And what's that broidered hair, gold, pearls or costly array? That's attention. You can't be uh, an attention whore. I'm going to just say it that way. A lot of women, you may not slut yourselves out uh, for different men, but you slut yourselves out for attention. And social media has, has truly made you into to huge attention whores. And then some of you women... That, that that may look, look at that may be attractive you get so much attention and then first they was on instagram then they was all over this and then now they was doing that then all of a sudden men start seeing them on these porn websites because the attention got so high and then the money and then they, they fly to dubai and doing all the you know and then they they slide men start to slide the dms and, and all this stuff man okay this stuff is, is terrible man it's the dating pool is is terrible and you're not doing nothing but showing young women the wrong way to do it okay women that still have uh uh a chance to, to to live the right way the righteous way a lot of women aren't passing that down and because these court systems know that that the, that the wisdom will come from the fathers in the home they give it to the uh they give the children to the women especially you jakes because the, the, the these other nation women, they're not going to leave. They're not going to leave that physical help in the house over no 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 paycheck. But most of our women, you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American women, will leave your man and go hop on the next man and hope he's going to take you seriously. And when he don't, now you're just hopping from man to man, hoping that you have something that will keep him around. You know, you can you can get him, but you can't keep him. Okay? With, with, you know, and to the point that you old and nobody wants you and you got this bad uh mentality of different uh, ideals of different men that you didn't sample so to speak and you got a piece of their mentality this wasn't set up that way okay now by the time the last man gets you he 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 likes you for the militant person that you are or the or the the, the, the seriousness of what you are and the other one was lighthearted. you got all these jokes but when it comes down to just being your spirit you don't really have much in there okay and so you got to think about this. This is why you're supposed to be connected to that one man. When you're connected to that one man, now your spirit is in tune with his spirit, and that spirit is connected only. There's something called pair bonding. Okay? When you look up pair bonding, that means you truly, and let me grab it, because this is important. All right? You women just think, I can get dolled up and go to Home Depot in this song. And then you look at these videos, it don't really work that way. Okay, yeah, you'll get a date. A man may even pay for the date. He may even go out a couple times. He'll probably have, he'll probably, if you allow it, have sex with you. But will there be anything of any seriousness in long term? Good luck. ScienceDirect.com. Pair bonding. In summary, pair bonding is best defined as a selective and enduring relationship between two non kin adults that often coincides with a monogamous mating system and a pair living social organization. Okay, and that broke it down. All right, selective and enduring relationship between two non-kin, meaning two people that aren't of the same family, they weren't raised together, okay, adults that often coincide with a monogamous mating system and a pair living social organization. And now they're set up together to live together socially and as a pair, as a unit that works together. You don't find that. When women talk about 50-50, they're not talking about, okay, I'm bringing this to the table, so this, so now we have 100. They're using it as a power, as leverage. Okay, modern women use the 50 that they bring, or the income or whatever that they're bringing to the table as leverage. I'm bringing my degrees and my, my book smarts and this and that and money, and that's leverage against the men. So now you have a say in the relationship, and men don't don't need that. That's not what we're looking for. Okay, we need an obedient servant. And that's and when you look up the word woman, it means servant. Okay? For you that don't believe, okay. 
right here it says uh <clears throat> this is in the uh, etymology Adam online an adult human uh, adult female human okay uh woman man uh, woman female servant okay right there woman female servant okay and when you actually look at <coughs> what did he set the woman up to do in Genesis? Let me grab it. Didn't really want to go into that. You set it up, go back to Genesis real quick. The second chapter later down. Let me see. Um Yep, yep, yep. Let me see. Yeah. Um yeah. Verse 20, Genesis 2 and 20 says, And Adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found an help meet for him. So the woman was set up as a help meet. Okay, someone to help him, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, well, that's that's the point there. Um, uh, Taken out, called woman of the man. Okay. Uh, leave it to one flesh. Yep. And so that was the point, but set up as a help meet for Adam. All right. So that's the point there. Let's get back. And back in first Timothy chapter two, it says, um, but which becometh women professing godliness, not with all that attention and all of that with good works. What are those good works serving the man in the household? When you go to you, to you, Christian women's favorite scripture, what did she do on that list of Proverbs 31? It was things that she was doing. It wasn't all she sat back and was a bad bitch and she was curvy and she had a BBL and she could do it like this. It wasn't all of that, man. It was talking about the things that she can actually benefit of the household because the, the household was ran like a business. And she she was the manager. He was the, the man, the CEO, setting up all the, you know, the architect, whatever, setting up everything that needs to be running in the house and what needs to be learned and what needs to be done. But the woman was the one that made sure things were done. And at a certain age, the the men children would go and work with the man, with the father, and and the women uh, begin to, to 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 share the duties. You know, the daughters begin to share the duties with the uh, with the, with the, with, the, with the the wife or the woman of the house. Okay. It says, uh, with good works, let the women learn in silence with all subjection, not objection. American women, you get a lot of objection. Objection. When you hear that in a courtroom, objection, Your Honor. What does that mean? That means I have something different to go along with what you're saying, to, you know, to, to go against what you're saying or what they've just said. Subjection means I concur and I'm going to continue to, to go on. I believe I'm going to follow what, what, what was just said. Okay. It says, but I suffer a woman, not a woman, to teach nor to usurp authority over the man. This is not happening. I read it in, in Jeremiah. A woman will uh, compass a man in power, in, in social status. A man will be will rule over the, the, the man. A woman will rule over the man. Right? It says, but to be in silence, for Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. That's where it started. It don't matter what the, 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 the serpent did. The woman was the one that listened and then passed that on down to Adam. And she should have just never listened. And I'm telling you, how many men out there uh, are, are frustrated when, when, when their wife brings back another saying from another man? Unless you a beta, most men don't really deal with that, man. And I'm, and I'm using those terms because this is, you know, T connected to, to to those terms and red pill and all this other stuff. But we've been red pill. The Bible's been red pill long before this new little movement that's going on, man. Okay. All right. And, and, and a lot of a lot of men that are in the truth uh have been in, doing this thing long before there was a red pill, before the movie Matrix even came out, where that red pill, blue pill even came from. Okay. It says uh and the woman not was and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Okay, notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety, doing the works of, of, of good women. 
And I'm not even going to go into um, Proverbs 31. I'm sure you women should know that chapter. Okay? And as well as that speaking about wisdom, that is speaking about you women. And what you should be uh, doing to, to, to run your households and to please your family and your, you know, by pleasing what the father wants, the, the husband wants. All right? Now let's get to the nitty gritty. All right? So let's go to the book of Isaiah. <clears throat> the 13th chapter. All right, we're going to start near the top, but we're going to scroll down. Yeah. Um, verse 6. How ye for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Okay, showing you that a destruction is coming. That there's something back coming. We should all know that, that there's a judgment to come. That there's an evil day coming. Okay. It said there... Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. So even men are going to be afraid, right? Uh, and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman in travail, a woman uh, about to give birth. They shall be amazed at one another. Their faces shall be as flames with true fright on somebody's face. It's just lit up. Your face is lit up with fear, okay, and dread, Okay. Um, I might as well keep reading. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Okay. Um, yeah, jump to 11. It says, I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud. And you women are some of the most proud. How do you know? Go, you should know. Go right on social media and see it, man. This is a topic that you can't ignore. You can just see the problem. No, I don't think women just running their mouth like that, man. It's, it's way out of pocket, okay? You know, and I mean, it, it's 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 crazy how this really happens. And what do women do? They talk about this. Um, we don't need a man, but then they turn around and if men get and violence occurs, what happens? Men call. I mean, women call violent men. To quell the other violent men. If women aren't out there on the front lines quelling violent men alone, it ain't just an army of women doing that. Okay? So all your, your logic and rationale go out the window. And you, you can take the stats and look at it. Women don't do violent jobs and dangerous jobs. The men do the, the dangerous and violent jobs. Therefore, they should be running shit, man. Period, point blank. Anyway, um... And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud. And there's proud and arrogant men out there too. I'm not saying that there's not, but this is the topic we're on. It says, uh, to cease and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. And I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Okay? And that's any man. Let alone the true value nature of a righteous man of the Lord. Okay? How valuable is the is a righteous man of the Lord? Okay, therefore will I shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. And it shall be as the chase row, and as the sheep that no man taketh up, a just ran through, man, just gonna get devoured. They shall then uh, they shall every man turn to his own people and flee. Everyone into his own land. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. This is the, the dangers that will be going on in that day. And every one that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Their children shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. And I'm not going to do the definition or a synonym of the word ravished. You women know what that means. You women know what that means. It's, it's the word that, that has been built up in your minds and through TV and, and everything. That's the worst situation that, that can ever violate a woman. Okay? It's the worst situation that can ever violate a woman. Okay? That will be going on because it will be complete lawlessness. And all you that play games with men, there's men out there that's going to take advantage of you. And there's going to be no one to stop them. When you look at movies like The Purge Anarchy, that was the scenario. That was the situation. And when that guy came in, with the, uh, the Hispanic guy came in with the door buster and blew the door open, 
and came to take the mom and the daughter and was going to kill the dad to get him. And he was just, you know, hey, I, you know, hey, give me a chance, baby. He was all that trying to holler at her the right way. Come to purge lawlessness out there. Okay. And that's, and the, the beautiful thing about the purge movies, the early ones anyway, was that the, the that it was only for you know six or twelve hours or whatever it was, but when you looked at it from uh the, like the forever purge type of way when the when the purge ends but it don't but it don't actually end, when the violence and it just con continues and it gets worse in the day, and even worse at night and it just keeps progressing worse and worse and worse, that's the times that we're coming into. Okay, and if it wasn't for those troops coming in. They would have took that man out, and if it wasn't for um, the hero of the movie in that Purge Anarchy, the troops would have taken the women out. Okay? At no point did the women save the day, and, and that's in Hollywood. That's not the true reality. They can get you out of a battle here and there and help this and that, but can they save the war? No, man. It's not, it's not for that. Okay? Let me grab some. All right? Ezekiel 34, um, thus, uh, in 31, it's, uh, oh, 30, uh, yeah, th 29, and I will raise up the, uh, for them a plant of renown, and they shall be no more consumed with hunger in the land, neither bear the shame of the heathen any more. Thus shall they know that I, the Lord Yahweh, their power, am with them. These are Israelites, whether they be scattered amongst the heathen, even looking like the heathen, or they're just the Israelites. We're not going to be scattered. We're going to come back and join ourselves back unto our power as the children of Israel. All right? That they, even the house of Israel, are my people, saith the Lord Power Yahweh, and my flock, the, and ye are my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men. And I am your God, saith the Lord, Yahweh power. All right, another one. Uh, I can't forget to grab this one, 1 Corinthians 11. And uh, I'll start at 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of the anointed, speaking of Yahweh Shai. Uh, now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances, order, as I delivered them to uh, to you, but I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, is the Lord Yahweh Shai, okay, and the head of the woman is the man. This is the order that you heard back in Genesis, and thy wife should be to thy, and the desire to be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee, okay, as uh, our desire should be to Yahweh Shai, and he will rule over us as the the Most High God, the head of. Yahweh Shai, and he will rule over all of us, okay? And the head of Yahweh Shai is the Most High Yahweh, okay? There's an order there, and it's set up that way for a reason, okay? That's the way that this, this runs and works the, the righteous and proper way, all right? Okay, another quote here from Ezekiel. This is in Revelation 21, verse 3, And I heard a great voice out of, out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God, Yahweh, is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. Okay, just showing you showing you that. Now, let's show you a little bit more destruction, then we'll close out. Okay, uh, so this is just showing you, when you read into 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, which is in the Apocrypha, um, it breaks down to you how destructive the times will be. I'll just hit this one. And I'll jump around, uh, verse 2nd, 15, verse uh, 5. Behold, said the Lord, power Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay. Um, Therefore, said the Lord, Yahweh, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Yeah, and how did he do that first? By speaking on it, trying to correct the children of Israel, correcting the men, and also, upon occasion, correcting the women, all right, uh, which they profanely commit, and how do they uh, correct them? Through the prophets, okay, anyway, it says, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves, the wicked ways of life that we've been following and doing after, 
uh, praying unto the idols and different heathen and, and, and you know, and just, just following that heathenistic type way. But coming back to our statutes, laws, and commandments in righteousness and, 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 and with our whole heart trying to uh, rehearse those righteous acts. And, and and praying, you know, unto our heavenly Father that he that he accepts us, man, that we're of the elect, and that we can uh, be exempt from the judgment to come. Okay, and when you look at the 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 one hundred and forty four thousand, and then the one third, which you know are of the elect, yeah, a lot of the one third will be women and children. Okay, and friends of the prophets, so women are involved in getting salvation. There was a doctrine out there just recently. We so said women won't be saved. Israelite women won't be saved. And that's just a wicked thing to, to tell somebody, man. That's just a wicked thing to tell somebody. And they're supposed to be a man of the Lord that knows the truth. You know? Anyway, it says, uh, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. All right? Therefore, uh, and therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive un unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Okay. All right. Um, behold, my people are led as a flock to the slaughter. And wow, uh, one, one of the ways you're led as a flock to the slaughter is following the world in the in the in, uh, the times of the world and the, in the current um, social statuses of the world right now. This is not how it's supposed to be. We need that ancient path, the old seek ye the old path, wherein is the good way. When women were humble and followed after men, and men were humbled and followed after the Most High. And we worked together to please the Most High and, and to grow our family, uh, you know, in a righteous manner and, and, and build them up in, in, in fear of the Heavenly Father. And the rest will, will, will take care of itself. All right. Um, let's, now let's jump down. So there's destruction coming. Woe to the world and then that dwell therein. Verse 14. Uh... It's showing you that there's going to be a big trouble, more trouble. Man should have no pity on his neighbor. Okay. More trouble. Okay. So let me jump down. I'm skimming down. Because uh, this chapter and the next chapter, man, I mean, whew, a lot of troubles, man, coming. A lot of people smiting uh, and in the... Let me see. Uh, it's something. I think the early forties is coming up. Uh, might be the next chapter. Um, Salakia, so bear with me. Um, yeah, I hit forty nine. I will send plagues upon the widowhood. Widowhood poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death. Um, so it must be the the next uh, it's the next chapter which goes in, right? So um, getting to the point here uh, 19, behold famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a minute. What are you even going to do when it comes to that? Because I skipped this one the book of Job, chapter 39, around 16, 17, it says, uh, man, it goes into the ostrich and how our women don't care about the children truly. They, they truly care about themselves. But 17 says, because the Most High had deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. Hey, why? Because if she had wisdom and understanding, she would, there would be no need for the man. This is meant to work together. Okay, women, you need men for wisdom and understanding. Okay, you need us for that to guide you. That keeps the 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 the, the dynamic working together. If if I'm a master builder, and you're a designer, say we 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 work as a team and we design homes or whatever. If I'm the architect and the builder of the house, okay, and you're the designer, this it works together. I can't always do both, so you got to do. Your part and I do mine, and it works together for the betterment of both of us. Okay, two, two, is none, none is less important than the other. Both are equally important, but everybody has a job to do. Okay, let let the men do their job, <clears throat> and as women, you do your job. Equally important to getting the overall goal uh, accomplished. And when you when you go down, 
in uh, 1 Corinthians, which I'll jump right back to that. Then before I go back to 2nd Edris, to 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, a little further down. It says, uh, where is it at? Um, yeah, it says it again here. Verse Paul said it. He said, uh, yeah, I'll go straight to verse eight. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither is the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. Okay. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. Nevertheless, uh, neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man in the Lord. We need that dynamic to work together. We, As we need you to keep our seed continuing in the earth, okay? You need us to continue your life in the earth, okay? And that's just the, the basics of it, to keep that uh, be fruitful and multiply scenario going, okay? We don't have wombs that can create women, I mean, create uh, uh, more people. Okay, that can create life and, and incubate life within you. We know the Most High is the one that, that puts all that together, but the woman is the one that incubates. Okay, and men, you women can't can't uh, create life without uh, a man, a man's seed being put inside you. Okay, this is part of what how we work together, among other things. Okay, all right. So back to second address. <clears throat> 16 how was that 19 um yeah I'm gonna skip through that cause there's a yeah there's a lot of destruction gonna be happening man alright a lot of destruction in these last days and, and trust me a Home Depot man may you might find the right one at Home Depot but look you better find you a man in those days um, yeah, so let's start up here at 33. The virgin shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn, having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. In the wars shall the bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. Okay? You see it? This is, this is going to be a very troublesome time on the earth, man. Okay? Man, very troublesome time on the earth. And I had one more scripture which I slipped past me. I'm trying to remember where it was at. It wasn't in this chapter. Um, I remember Isaiah 32. Yep, got to go there. At the top it says, Behold, a, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall, uh, shall rule in judgment. Verse 2 is the point, and then I'll jump down. A man shall be as in hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest, from storm and destruction, man, from, from troubled times, okay? As rivers of water in a dry place, as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land, as, as a sign of refuge, no different than in that movie, The, the Purge Anarchy. When that man showed up, they, they was looking, they was on the ground, he saved them from uh, being destroyed of that army. <clears throat> they was looking at him like, please don't leave us out here by ourselves. You know, please take us with you. He was like, you know, rivers of water in a dry place, man, something that would come and, 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 and truly help their situation. The shadow of a rock in the weary land. Man, please give us some covering to take some of this heat off of us. Okay? And that's what's going to be happening in those times, and, it's, and, and just to tie into those times, and the eyes of them that see shall not be dim, and the ears of them that hear shall not, shall hearken. Showing you that that we're going to be open unto the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai in those times. We're going to see the prophecies and see the power and see His understanding. The elect is going that the sight is going to be there for us. Okay, people on earth going, especially you Israelites that are of the elect, is going to be able to understand what's going on and understand that this is prophecy from the Heavenly Father and follow. Okay? Alright, and it goes on with that, but verse um, 9 says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease, hear my voice, ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech. Okay? Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. 
for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Okay, there's no, there's nothing, or, or no one coming just to save you. There's no Superman coming to save Lois Lane, man. Okay, it's not happening. Okay, when our Superman comes, your house is coming to deliver the elect of Israel. And who's going to be of the elect? Not just somebody coming to save women. Somebody coming to save the righteous. And there will be some women that, that take heed and, and, and are in the right spirit that will be saved. Okay, but they're coming to save the elect. And a lot of those elect, uh, the 144,000 will be men. And a lot of the elect of the one third, some will be women and children. I mean, there'll be women and children in there. And there may be a few men in there as well. So, hey, it's limited space and limited time only. All right. It says, uh, tremble you women that are at ease. And a lot of women are at ease because they got government assistance. They got their own education, got their own job. They don't need no man. And they go, I'm independent and strong and this and that and Okay, keep that philosophy, man. But keep that same energy when the shit hit the fan. Even if you women think that you can handle guns and you can do this and that, hey, man, good luck in that day, especially being out there alone. Okay, you didn't swindle and, and, and connive men. And, and, and one thing that always comes to mind is how a lot of these, um, um, just the music that's out there, especially now, but a lot of the, women, the music that was out there that the women put out, it's about how they don't need a man and you can leave a man and I got another man in a minute and all this other stuff, right? But those same women be having husbands, man, and they be good wives to their husbands, okay? In a, in a relationship that works because that does not fail. When you, when you are truly in order with your husband, that does not fail, okay? That's longevity in that, but this old short-term I can hop on another one and there's an upgrade and I'll upgrade you. All of that shit, man. Nobody want to hear that shit. Nobody want to deal with that. And when the day of, of all hell breaking loose that I've hit a few precepts in here about just a few precepts of in, in the scriptures, you women are going to be in dire need and trouble. And the men that you've been swindling and had on child support and did all these faulty ass things with are not going to be out there trying to save you. All right. So Lord willing, this was edifying. And give all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Arachakodash, the belong to the apostles and the elders of the great and the elder bishops of the great millstone who teach God and rule well. And greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you, hopeful elect out there. To the next one, Shalom.